Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Mm. Mm. What's that? Mm, my colon. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah. I think I have a kind of crisis. I don't know. I don't, don't feel. And no, I ate some pupusas in El Tunco yesterday. I think that that was. I don't know. But I think that 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 pupusas. Where did you eat pupusas? Pupusa? In El Tunco. Were you with the lady and a guy? Yep. Yeah, you passed right next to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? You were, sitting, you were sitting by the beach a little bit at night, like seven. Uh yeah, yeah. We we waited for the for the eclipse. Eclipse, right? Yeah, eclipse. Yeah. Yeah, you pass right by next to me. Oh my God, really? Yeah, I saw you. But you, you, you didn't talk to me. To be honest Why? with you, I was <laughs> dubious. Okay. And I just confirmed it was you. <laughs> okay. I was standing there pretty close to you actually. Uh, we were with my cousin and my brother-in-law, uh, my sister's husband. They were taking uh, pictures and videos of the same. Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah, I saw you. We were in, in the same place, oh my God. <laughs> I can't yeah, believe I it. I saw you and you didn't <laughs> see me. Yeah, sorry. Where did you buy the pupusas? Let's see. In uh, Bamaguaya. Where's that? Mm, it's in the in the that little street when yeah. you when you I don't know how to say it. Mm. When you just turn the corner? Yeah. Yep. On your right? No, left. Okay. Oh yeah, I know where. It's like, it's like, uh, it's, mm, it's a, 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 oh my God, I, I forgot, edificio? A building. Building. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, not, not too little. It's a, a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. I went there on Saturday and also yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, my, my aunt passed away. Oh. And she's from there. Mm. And we were like, you know, talking with all the family, all the my relatives. And, and mostly that's the few occasions when I got time to go see them. Yeah, but I was. I mean, when I saw you passing by, I was like, this is Iliana, this is Iliana. But I was like, mm, is she or isn't she? Yeah, it was me. <laughs> yeah. I, I went with my, friend. yeah, with my yeah. best friend and, and the guy uh, is her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was having fun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, I remember, I remember, oh, but it's cool. I mean, yeah, what time did you came back? Around 9.30, I think. Oh, that's cool. I arrived home around 11 something. I came home like 10, almost. Oh, no, 10, yeah. So yeah, we okay. left at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Well, it's fun to go see relatives, but it's bad the reason why I got I went to see them. But yeah. no, that's the way it goes. I'm yeah. so sorry. To Believe me, for an instant, for an instant, I was tempted to talk to you. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, and where you you were at the beach too? 
in the yeah by the sun i told you you walk oh right God. by next to me like next to me like, like <laughs> this distance this was the distance. literally next to yeah literally <laughs> oh my god it wasn't even one meter far really i can't believe it yeah life's funny <laughs> yeah and what else teacher how was your the rest of your weekend well let's see oh i have oh man saturday was terrible the afternoon you know why because i had my 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 midterm uh, statistics oh, midterm. Uh, your favorite yeah my favorite subject and the thing is this that i was like uh, uh, uh well i was working <clears throat> I started like on an average like two hours for the for the exam, mm -hmm. but it wasn't that difficult. It was long because it wasn't in in pairs, but we have five hours to do it. Mm -hmm. Five hours. Was, yeah, five hours, and it was uh, just seven exercises, supposed to seven exercises. And I made four, my classmate made three, and it was cool up until 5 p.m. when, no, 4.30. The electricity, the electricity connection started going off and on, off and on, oh off my God. and on, like 20 times in a period of half an hour. I got so stressed. You know, I yeah. sent my report at uh, my Excel document at... <laughs> 5.58, and I just have time until 6. 6 was my deadline. Uh, yes, crazy. Just like two minutes. Yeah. The funny thing is this. Uh, at that time, there was just another another couple who had finished it. it yeah. Yeah, it was heavy. It was heavy stuff. Yeah, because seven exercises in five hours? Yeah. Sounds pretty difficult. Yeah, yeah, believe me. Well, it was terrible. But uh, you, you, you had your your um, I don't know how to say it. The punctuation, or or you have to wait. I have to wait, but I am pretty sure of what I do. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, the only problem is me and my nerves. I don't know why. It's always been my case that whenever I got a test, I get stressed, I get nervous. And even though, even if I know that I'm doing okay, I still get stressed. Yeah, I share that feeling. I, I, and I feel was, kind of yeah, like that. you feel like that? Yeah. All the and time. I was in the middle of the exam when they told me the bad news. Then, oh so, my God. So it was like, you know, yeah. everything was kind of weird. Yeah. We're here now. So yeah. it, was, it was so nice seeing you then. Yeah, but you didn't talk to me. Oh my God, I can't believe you didn't talk to me. Imagine it wasn't you. It would have been so embarrassing. But I didn't see you. But, but you saw me. Yeah, I saw you. You know, it's funny because I don't usually recognize people. I'm so bad at faces and me. <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. Okay, then <laughs> welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for us. Let's see. Uh, 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 um... Beatrice, hello, good evening. How are you? Let's see, uh, Mr. Orellana, hello, good evening. 
Well, let's see who else is around. Who else is around? Anna Claudia, hello, good evening. Oh, she doesn't hear me, she says. And now she's gone. Jose Wilfredo, good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher. So far, I said good, teacher. That's cool, that's cool. So, how was the weekend? Oh, uh, was a busy because was yesterday. I spent all my day uh, because I, well, I paid to paint in my car. Pay what? I oh, you paid pay for somebody to paint your car. Yeah, I remember you had a little accident, right? Yeah, that's right. But, well, uh, I spent my completely day because I remember that I left from home at 8 a.m. and I'm back like 8 p.m. Yeah, so that's why I, I didn't do anything. Oh, that's so bad. Well, I waste that time, but oh my car is, looks better. Okay, that's what matters. Yeah, that's right. And today was uh, easy day because well, we only have to join into some meetings and then we prepare or we create some uh, report to, to present tomorrow. But uh, nothing, nothing special. Ah, uh, well, today I, I, I made my little presentation. Too. Your what? My little presentation. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, yesterday, I, I guess that I thought that I will do yesterday. But, yeah, but you didn't have the chance yeah, to do right. it. I don't, I didn't have a, a chance to do it. But today, I prepared something. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, what matters is that you do it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, I I hope that maybe tomorrow I could rest more. Okay, yeah. Well, you're right. Perhaps tomorrow you can have a better time. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Thanks God, everything good. Sure. So glad to hear it, my friend. Uh, thank you, Trust teacher. No, thanks to you for being here and making the effort. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Danny, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Well, I'm I'm fine. Um. Uh. It's just a couple of minutes I came to my home <laughs> from the work. You just arrived home? Oh. Yeah, I just arrived. Yeah, uh, but my weekend, uh, it was a little quiet. I rest uh, most, most, most all the time. And also work in a little bit. Um, and that, <laughs> just that. Oh, yeah. It was working your weekend. Yeah. Uh, well, I went to the gym too. Um, oh, lucky you. I couldn't today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, my body uh, claimed for <laughs> exercise. Have yeah. to, but you know, I I wasn't able to go. I went to the doctor today. Well, I went to the lab today, and I had to to undergo some tests and Do some tests, blood, oh. blood tests, and the oh, problems. No. That, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you know, I got a special problem. My my veins are pretty thin, pretty thin. so it's okay. kind of 
it's kind of difficult. Hard. Yeah, pretty difficult. Yeah. So, and they needed to, to, to pinch me four times. Oh, no. So I got, I got one, one in my, in my inner elbow. Yeah. One, uh, let's see, it's right here. It's swollen. Oh. And two in this one, so uh, everything hurts. Yeah. Uh, it's I can't imagine. Yeah. I'm the it's worst. And I hate it. Uh, no, no, believe me, I'm the worst. Kind, I'm the worst. No, I'm the worst for that kind of test. It's so difficult that the nurse uh, <laughs> be able to. Uh, Pinch me. I <laughs> I don't let her. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that happens to me. I'm a crybaby for that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for you, teacher. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's and I have to spend almost the whole morning there, so. Uh, Stressful, then go to work. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, mister. Nice to have you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see who else is around. Hmm. Alejandro Alfredo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Who are you? I'm just fine, just fine. How was your weekend? Tell me. Well, the weekend was uh, fine. I went, I had the chance to go to Guatepec Lake. Oh, cool. On Saturday. And uh, we stood uh, there at, at the lake, and on Sunday. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You stayed. Stayed, okay. You can say it's true, but not in this. In this situation, if you say we stood, you are mean that you were standing up. Ah, uh, okay. And if you say we stayed, you are saying you spent time okay we stayed or we spent time at the lake from saturday to sunday and sunday in the afternoon we went to el sonte beach oh really so, so it was kind of fun this weekend that's cool. You have fun. Yeah. Okay. Let me just text something to you guys. Stay, stay. Stand. Stood. Just to be clear. Okay. You can see it in the in the Zoom chat. So you have fun, Mister Man. El Sante. Where did you go to El Sante? Which place? Uh, there's a like a hotel called Looking Good. Oh, nice! And it's a uh, front beach. So there's a pool and a resting area. So it's immediate access to the beach, and we, we had fun. Uh, but the tide. The tide that was high, how do you say the, the, the Maria? Yeah, the tide I, was high, yeah. The tide was high, and we could not uh, enjoy the beach as, as much as we as you want. Like, yeah, but yeah, like a big wave came and. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Crash on you. 
Jack Russian. So we got uh, out of the reach like five minutes. We 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 just stayed like five minutes in the beach, and then we were in the pool. Sometimes it's better, and and when the tide is high, you gotta be careful. Yeah. Yeah, we were in the in uh, Aloria. On the shore. In the shore, and but a big wave came and it crushed on us. Yeah, actually, the 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 sea kick you out. Kick us out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sort of in a way, right? Yeah. Hey, Mister. Nice having you here. So glad that you enjoy your weekend. Welcome. Thank you. Anna Claudia, you hear me now? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> I don't know what is the combination of two things: my unstable internet and also Microsoft was launching like an update, so I they restarted everything. I hate when that happens. Yes, because the internet has been working. I don't know what I'm getting that uh, latent on my screen, but. Remember, you can always use a hammer. Oh, come on. It's my computer. <laughs> it's my girl. <laughs> this is my personal computer where I take the classes. When I, when I attend you're... the classes, I'm sorry. When I attend the classes. Okay, so how was the weekend? It was busy because uh, I, on Saturday afternoon, I had my class for uh, science, LESA. But then we had to prepare uh, different things because on Sunday, my sister came with all the family, with her sons, uh, her husband, well, and they were um, cooking here at home. Uh, nice. They were, mm -hmm, uh, oh, I, we ate a lot. Oh my God, ate too much, uh, <laughs> too much uh, meal. And also, uh, let me see, I don't remember. Uh, we also been eating ribs. Delicious. Oh, nice. Yes, they were asar grilling, ever. Eh? Yep. Okay, they were grilling a uh, lot of stuff, vegetable, a lot of things. Ah, uh, I ate too much that it was impossible for me to to make dinner. Mm -mm. Oh, really? Neither a glass of water. My God, I was not even. Not even. Not even a glass of water. I was so, <laughs> so. You were full. Full. Uh -huh. So uh, it was a, a nice uh, weekend. They were celebrating my nephew' birthday and also mom's day. Everything, <laughs> whatever we want to celebrate. But we ate a lot. My God, I, I don't remember when was the last time that I, before yesterday that you, I, we ate a lot. You ate like that. Exactly. In that way, like, like pigs. <laughs> My goodness, That's a so lot of food. Huh? Yeah, but it was delicious. It was fine. Yeah, that happens to me when I, when we get together at my sister's. Man, mm -hmm. they got this big. <laughs> Plates because I mean they are not digital. Exactly, they are digital. I don't know men. why they uh -huh. give us a lot of food. Yeah, but, but I mean, in the case of in the case of my sister, it's understandable. She's big. Ah, really? Oh no, my sister yeah. no. Oh, she's she's not big. She's normal, normal size. But they they my cook sister, like my sister uh, weighs like two forty. No, two, two thirty. 
Yeah, pounds? Two thirty, yeah, two thirty last time. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, you know, yesterday we went, we were with my cousin. He weighs two forty. Two forty. And how old yeah. is he? Forty two. Forty two. Thirty two. Somewhere around. Yeah. Yeah, but he's tall. Ah, well, Very I was tall. about to ask you if he's tall or short. He's one eighty something. Oh come on! So he doesn't look like those uh, two hundred and forty pounds. They... No, he doesn't at all. Mm -hmm. And your sis is she tall? Nah, she's a little bit shorter than me. Ah, okay. And we are we are short. She's like I am one seventy two. She's like one sixty something. Oh, she's taller than me. <laughs> Uh, no, but I don't think that she looks like too big. Well, she does. Does she? Yeah. Mm. Yep, yeah. Yep. Yep. Wow. Yeah, but that's that's uh, uh I mean it's the problem with, with one side of the family they are big. Ah oh, okay, but you're not big. And you're the section. I, I guess I'm the adopter one. <laughs> Will we? Yeah, because right now I'm waiting the most. I have ever weighed in my life. How much because is your weight right now? Right now is 160. Oh, yes. Yeah, and I mean, that's the heaviest I have ever been. Oh, really? So you were yeah. less than that? Like? Well, when I was young, when I was like 23, 24, I used to be 120. Oh, you were so skinny. Yep. Mm. I was pretty skinny. Mm. Well, pretty, pretty skinny. <laughs> yes, but, I you know, imagine. old age. No, it's because we switched the custom. We a different. Remember, mm. maybe when you were young, uh, if there's no food, you just uh, eat a, a fruit or an apple, and it's okay. But nowadays, you know that always there will be food at home, etc. Yeah, I don't know. I used to. I used to be a picky eater. Really? Oh no! I think that's since the day you were born. <laughs> no, I used to be well. Actually, until I was like eighteen, I started eating meat. Ah, really. Yeah, I didn't eat meat before that. Before, oh, until 18, you ate meal? Meat. Meat, ah, meat. Ah, carne. Yep. Yeah. And chicken or fish? No. Nope. Come on. I started you... eating meat when I was 18, something like that. I guess you was just raising with spaghetti or... Yeah, a lot of pasta. I love my, pasta. My God, at the Italian style. Lovely. Hey, Natalia. <laughs> Thank you. Nice having you here. My pleasure. Let me get the attendance. Okay. Before I forget, these people are going to complain to me. Let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasco Medias. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josue Garcia Martinez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. 
Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Thank you. Okie dokie, guys. Let's see. Well, before we move on, uh, the activities for tonight, well, we always have our previous conversation. Then you're going to have, uh, if you remember last class, I was presenting some cases to you where you were using the conditionals. I presented some cases in some institutions, I mean, co-workers. And now, today you are going to be working in groups, doing something like that, but you are going to give me the context and the possible solutions using conditional sentence, the first case of conditionals, okay? It's gonna be interesting, you will see. Then we go back to exercises, questions again, and we have presentations. Let's see, for today we have Jose Wilfredo and we were missing, I guess, uh, Irene, you were missing the presentation. You ready? Hi teacher, may I give the presentation tomorrow? That's okay, no problem. Okay. For tomorrow, it's going to be you and Maria Alejandra. Perfect. Let's see, but before we move on, let's see, Maria Alejandra, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I think that only feel tired, but it's you okay. Tired? Why? You don't do nothing. <laughs> Teacher, my reputation. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's say you work, okay? So, yes. it was a long day for you? Yes. The, the reason is that two co-workers have a permission uh, for different events, or I don't know. And the sellers today uh, upload a lot of cases and maybe I uh, been, um, stay more time that when I finish my schedule for uh, try to see all the cases and, but it's okay. Okay, well. You've been busy. Yes. Were you productive? I... Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes we are busy, but but the, the, the job doesn't advance. That happens, you know. Um, yes, but uh, when I see a case, it's different because I work in a real time. Or, uh -huh. and so I what you need... get, what you open, you finish. Uh huh. Yes. Or I, or I send a, or send an email and ask for the difference. Uh, need to finish the case or like this, or maybe uh, stay pending for the tomorrow. But I don't see because I. Um, my schedule is start after the Dominican Republic. Okay. Uh -huh. mm, that's quite interesting. Well, okay. so sorry to hear that you are tired, but you know, it's Monday. That happens on Mondays to everybody. <laughs> yes, teacher, but it's good. It's okay. I need a busy day, maybe one one de vez en cuando once in a while once in a while uh -huh. <laughs> let me text it to you once in a while okay 
Okay, once on a while. Yeah, once on the on a blue moon, you gotta work. <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> hey, Maria Leandra, nice having you here and welcome. <laughs> You're very good, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Heidi, good evening. How are you? Oops, we don't hear you. No. Nope. Yeah, we don't hear you. Nothing. That happens with the configuration. Don't worry, try to fix it. Don't worry, don't worry. There's a lot of people here. Let's see, Ramon, hello, Ramon. Nope, either. Hello, teacher, can you hear me now? Oh, yes, I do. Hello, Heidi, how then are can you? Can I make your question? Yes, yeah, sure. Because I, I, I had heard once in a while. What's the difference between once in a while and once on a while? That I misspell it. Thank you. Ah, okay, okay. My bad, sorry guys. That's the difference. Okay, so tell me Heidi, how's everything? Everything's going better, thanks God. Okay, that's cool. This weekend that's I have cool. this terrible pain in my back. Oh, hey, that being there, don't that. Yeah, that thing is terrible and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. When you get a pain in the back, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're sitting, standing, or laying down, it hurts. Exactly. Whichever position you're in. And if you ask the doctor, what they tell you is, oh, you need an injection. And, and that's a big no-no for me. <laughs> for me too, I don't like them. No. I, you don't like them, I hate them. Yeah, those things are so, uh, I'm a cry baby. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing so, much better now. I'm ready. That's cool. That's cool. What about your day at work? Yeah, it was a productive day. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. It's cool when you start the week like that, right? Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. We were missing you on Friday. I was looking around for Heidi and Heidi wasn't here. I was in bed. That's so bad. But putting your back. Welcome, Heidi. Nice having you. you here. Suleyma, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's everything? I'm fine. Um, today was a very good day. So the unique problem is that the weather is so hot tonight. Well, well, for me, last night was terrible. Uh, for me, today is worse. It's worse. Really? Yeah. Yeah, no, for me, yesterday, yesterday was terrible. I mean, I, uh, I really was like... Did you, uh, did you watch the moon yesterday? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was talking to your classmate, to Liana, yesterday. Uh, I was watching it. I was at the beach, so I could watch it like cool. Oh. I uh, can only watch the moon, uh, but just in the beginning. Really? Why? Uh, because uh, I think it was a mistake in the hours because I watched uh, the moon at, um, I guess, eight o'clock, but uh, the moon uh, was in the, in the beginning of the 
I don't know yeah, how yeah. to say it. Yeah. yeah. And my son told me that the better point to watch the moon uh, was at uh, around 12. But when I go out to my house to watch the moon, it was finished. So I can't, I couldn't watch the, the eclipse in the full moment. Oh yeah, that's bad. That's bad, it was nice. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Well, welcome to the class, Suleyma. Nice having you here. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Ada, hello, Ada. How are you? Oh, today was a Monday. You always, you tell me that Mondays are hard days at work, right? Yes, teacher. Uh, I'm living at home um, about uh, 20 minutes. I take a shower. Yes, I took a shower. Take a shower. I change my gloves. And... And Saturday, I work until two hours, uh, no, two in the afternoon. And I was, I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to go to the supermarket and the rest, a bit and uh, eat the strawberry ice cream. And, Watch, white watch TV. In the Sunday, I had two private surgeries from the six a.m. Yeah. Yes. Uh, until in the afternoon. It's a. Uh, and yesterday is a kid day in the morning. And in the afternoon, I had to the emergency for the finish approximately. Approximately. Approximate, approximately uh, one hour. One hour? Yes. Oh my gosh. So it was difficult. <laughs> here teacher ready for class <laughs> that's the attitude that's the attitude nice welcome well Thank guys you. the time has come to switch the activity welcome all of you i know that i couldn't talk to all of you but so nice having you here back from the weekend and let's see. first activities well 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 i'm going to divide you in groups okay you need to present a problem that arises in any one of their jobs. Like uh, imagine the Fernando tell us, oh, you know, uh, uh, I always have a problem with that co-worker that who doesn't finish his job and they ask the rest of the team to help him, okay? So we are going to have this situation and everybody's going to tell me options. If he doesn't finish his job, he must be, uh, he must have a, or he will have a sanction, you know, a sanction in letter. What I want you to do is that, present a situation and give me possible, possible solutions. Remember, if we are talking about possible in future, we are talking about conditional. So you're going to be using the first type of condition. Let me get the groups ready so you can, uh, all of you can jump in. Okay, there's gonna be four groups. Groups are open, please jump in. If you need any help, let me know. You will have 10 minutes to prepare the situation and the solution.
Hi. Oh, good evening. Good evening. So we have to present a situation and a solution, right? Well, at least four or five sentences solutions. Just solutions. Yeah, the situation and four or five solutions or suggestions, okay? Okay. And you said that according when one situation that you have a, a conflict with a coworker, right? Yeah. I guess that we can discuss uh, one situation. I don't know what kind of situation do you want to talk about, Irene? Well, Irene, Irene works with um, human resources. They deal with a lot of situations. <laughs> okay. It was mm. one example. No sé. Teacher, we saw an Hello. advertisement and we cannot find it. We couldn't read uh, it. Okay. This, the thing is this. You got a situation, right? Uh-huh. Like Marie Alejandra is complaining, Ana Claudia never, never reaches her goals and it affects the team. That's a situation. Okay, now, what could be possible suggestions or solutions? If she doesn't reach her goals in the following months, she will get fired. Mm. Simple. Okay. Or, uh, if she continues with the same attitude, she will be assigned to a different account. Okay. Right? Okay. That's got what it. I want. Got it? Yes. Got it. I don't know how it works, but I know that oh. challenge. <laughs> so I need the design from the, the parallel design. And sometimes, um, um, like they had a lot of work from a lot of. Okay, let's. What's the situation? Maybe about the environment, teacher, in a company. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Going to be the main Re topic. Remember, you need to give me four or five solutions or suggestions related to the situation. Right. Yep. Like if Jose doesn't get to his job on time, that's the problem. Jose never gets on time to, the, to his job. If he doesn't get to his job on time, he will get fired. Okay, stay nice. Jose <laughs> goes like, no way, Jose. I work from home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. The situation selection is environment. Mm -hmm. uh, it's up to you. Okay. We can choose yeah. Solution. <laughs> but we had to write the the, the situation. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let me write something. Mm. Mm. You guys, that so in my case, it will be oh, if Rafael <laughs> continue. No, if Rafael, eh, 
continuous facing too much technical. No, if Rafael continues facing technical issues, he will be sent. No, 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 no. If Rafael, if Rafael continues facing tech issues, it is possible that all of us um, will be sent to work back at the office, something like that. Yes, we'll be sent. You can share a screen if you want. You can share a screen if you want, if you are typing, okay? Oh, no, 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 I'm just writing with my beak in my notebook. <laughs> On my notebook. On my notebook. Yes, it's, uh, I'm thinking that, yes, that is a big issue. We have to leave that. Oh, he's always restarting the computer. And it uh, seems like, I don't know if it's his internet. Sometimes I think maybe he's joking. I don't know. But my the fear we have is that because of the issues that he has the upper management will think that is better for us to work from the office again and we don't want to go back you are scared because you don't want to back to the office no no the rest of the team we don't want to work for the office. We are good here from home. <laughs> mm, I don't In know, Maria Alejandra. Case, uh, the company decide that if you have a technology or technical issues, uh -huh. it, um, for example, to the internet or uh, the uh, electrician, you uh, is necessary to move for other house or like this, and to try resolve the problem. Because if you don't, if you don't do this. Uh, the company discount in your PayPal all the time or the hours you don't stay or you don't connect. So, but Hello guys. let me ask, uh, teacher, uh, just to be sure that we what we have to do is we have to create one situation uh, yeah, between like two uh, workers, or no, or perhaps use a situation. Uh, give me a context. Like, oh, Francisco Eduardo never attends his meetings. And he is always asking everybody for, the, for their notes in no. order to be up to date. So, Irene says, if Francisco misses one more meeting, he will get fired. Mm -hmm. One possible sol solution. Now you give me four more. Got it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I thought that it was between two co-workers. Yeah, if but you now, want to make a conversation, it's even better. But the time is not <laughs> enough. No, and yeah, actually yeah, the conversation know. comes after. Yeah, okay, perfect, teacher. So we have to, well, now that we have that sample, I guess that we can improve a lot. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, Irene, so we have to, to talk about the, your, the situation that you told us. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, I think that is a next and the good idea.
Alex. Okay. okay. Uh, like, if you repeat, you, I don't know if, if I understand your idea. If like, repeat of uh, his behavior, for example, and he uh -huh. got an amonestation or something like uh -huh. that. Yeah, amonestation, yeah. How, how can, how we, how we can say, teacher, amonestation? Hmm. It just depends on the context. Mm -hmm. We we have this situation, teacher. Uh, okay, Fernando is the manager of an important company, but he's always yelling at his co-workers. Some of the employees put their complaints with human resources, resources and they, they talked with him and gave some recommendations and told him that he needs to take a program to improve his people's skills. That's the situation. So one of the solutions is is that 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 Jose is is telling that if if Fernando uh, doesn't change his behavior, he will receive an notification. Uh, a letter of reprimand. Okay. Reprimand to employees file. Okay. If Fernando doesn't, doesn't, that could be a solution, right? Yeah. Fernando doesn't. Is a reprimand or reprimand, teacher? Reprimand. Teacher, what is the correct pronunciation? Reprimand. Reprimand. Or, or reprimand. Repr reprimand. Reprimand. Okay. Reprimand. 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 Reprimand to worker file, teacher. No. Letter of reprimand. Reprimand. I just texted it for you right there in the Zoom chat. Okay, thank you. Reprimand. Reprimand. Letter of reprimand. Another another solution, guys. Uh, we we uh, we have if Fernando doesn't change his behavior, he will receive a letter of reprimand. Number that's number Let's see, everybody's coming back. So who's gonna start? Well, we are still waiting. And now everybody comes, perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. Jose Wilfredo, please tell me the situation and the possible solutions you get. Uh, teacher, we were discussing uh, well, one situation, and, but then we changed to another, so we only create one right now. So okay, I tell me what was the situation? Uh, okay, the situation is that the employees are disgusting because they receive a discount on their paycheck by lateness. 
Okay, they are angry. They are, the thing is that disgusted is like, uh, when you refer perhaps uh, something that is disgusting, as I look as asqueroso. Okay, so they are? They are unhappy. They are angry. Okay. Okay, so what's the possible solution for that situation? Uh, one of the possible, well, uh, we were talking now uh, one of the situations that the employees has to understood uh, or understand uh, why that happened. So, and then we, we create one. If they are right late to the company, they will have a, accumulate more than an hour to be discount. And that's the unit that we make. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Next group, uh, Maria Alejandra, talk to me. Hi, teacher. Um, in the group, per se, the two different situations that uh, working a home office and for different problems, the company decide to return the co-worker for the office. <clears throat> and okay. then the first one is, uh, if Carlos continue to come late, he will fire. Um, or the Carlos is to connect uh, late, uh, the company decide I will fire, and the other is if Rafael continue face technical issues, all the group will return of the office. And the other is if the co-workers don't report the technical issues, the company will discount the hours. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Danny, your turn, tell me. What did you talk about in your group? Well, uh, my group, in my group, we were talking about um, a Marco situation, a Marco problem, just one situation. We okay. we made, we built. Um, uh, that is, and this is the sentence. If if Marcos uh, co-workers Workers will give the will give him enough time. He will be able to finish his task on time. The problem is that uh, the design department um, give them the design with with a too short time to prepare and develop it. Then and she got stuck with a lot of work in queue. And so he he needs that the, the design department uh, give 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 him with more time the the design. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see, uh, Mr. Rivas. Tell me what did you talk about in your group? Okay, so we were talking about so uh, like a situation so that one one of the bus, so like once we have a bus and they are yelling a lot, so okay. so probably so they they can get a uh, like problems, so or difficulties so on, on his job. So but in the in the case so is that. If Fernando is a manager of an important company, but he is always yelling at his coworkers, some of the employees put their complaints with human resources and they talk with him and get some recommendation and tell him so that he needs to take a program to improve his people's skills. So in one, one of the recommendation probably can be so if Fernando doesn't change it, so he can get so like a report. So, and also if 
Fernando doesn't change it to the like the attitude. Probably one of his co-worker can get a fight with him. So and let's see what else. So and if Fernando doesn't take the program to improve his people skill, uh, he will fire. Okay, he will get fired. Yeah, he will be fired. Sorry. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, I'll send you back to working groups, but I will go from group to group to tell you what are you going to discuss, okay? I'll give you two questions and you're going to give me answers to those questions. You're going to discuss them as groups, okay? So, oh, before we move on, let me get the attendance, please. Okay, okay, let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagascuna Díaz. Present teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Teacher, present. Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. <laughs> present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Teacher present. Thank you, Ramon. Ramon de Tomasa. Thank you. Uh, Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. And Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernandez. Present. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you, Roxana. Okay, I'll send you back to the groups. I will be jumping from group to group quite fast in order to give you the, the the activity you're going to perform, okay? Groups are open. Okay, guys, uh, you're going to make a conversation using as a base any of these two questions, okay? What will you do, I'm sorry, when you get retired or what will you do if you win the lottery? Got it? Okay. We have to mention that those questions. Yeah, you have to mention them questions you can use one or both, up to you, but I want a conversation, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, uh, you will make a conversation. You can use whichever of these two questions in order to, to take it as a base for your conversation, okay? You got, what will you do if you break up with your friend? Your boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever. Or what will you do if you get divorced? I need a conversation, okay? Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay, guys, what I want is simple. It's a conversation. You are going to base the conversation in any of these two situations, okay? If you have some free time on Saturday, we'll just study more, or what medicine would you take if you catch a call next week? Use any of those two ideas, anyone, in order to make the conversation. Questions? Uh, can you repeat them, teacher, please? I send them in the, in the Zoom oh, chat. Okay. Okay. If you need any help, give me a holler, okay? Okay, guys, we are going to perform a conversation. Okay. You're going to take as a base any of these two situations. You can choose one, okay, or both of them, up to you. What will you do if you get your dream job, or what will you do if your mother buys you a car? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> I choose the first one. What do you think, guys? Yeah, nice. The second one will never happen. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah. be here just listening. Okay, guys, you can. You're free to 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 work. Okay, Don't worry so about me. We have to discuss about this question, teacher. No, my dear, we need to make a conversation. Ah, made, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, just that, make, make. No, just that, make a conversation, very make simple, conversation. like, like, hi, Eliana, how are you? Ah, oh, okay, 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 got it. Okay, perfect. So, hello, Eliana, how are you? <laughs> hello, Jose. So, how was your day? Was good? If you win the lot, I can say, uh, I go, uh, I don't know, maybe I go say. I will stay here for a couple of minutes in order to let them work freely.
some super supermarket or or store about clothes or shoes, but in the in in that when moment, I in, in that, that moment mo maybe I come with a with a with a car market and I say, hey guys, how are you? Long time no see you. Hey, hello, Jose Wilfredo. Hey, hey how hello. are you? Nice. Doing shopping, oh. doing doing hello uh, tasks now. I'm shopping too. Yeah. Hey, if not, you, you know, you my right hand me. Hi, hello, tell <laughs> us. What are you hey. doing now? Nah, I'm doing shopping right now because it's my my day off, so I have to I have to invest my time in uh, positive uh, things. So I remember that I have missing some stuff from the supermarket, so I came to buy it. Hey, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Jose Wilfredo, instead of saying. I am doing some shopping, you can just say, it. because she asked you, what are you doing? And you go like, just some shopping. Just some shopping. Okay. That sounds more natural, okay? Okay. 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 And I see in your, in your, uh, no, the, 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 the R, the R, the R, the R, the that's a card, but uh, let me, Shopping, shopping cart. Yeah, a shopping cart. Shopping cart. Okay. I see you in your shopping cart, a ticket lottery. Yeah, I already bought the uh, ticket lottery, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe uh, this time I'm going to head to the big. Oh, that's excellent. And what would you do if you win the lottery? Well, I don't know. Maybe I guess that we could invest. Uh, some some money uh, to increase my 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 earns and maybe I could save something because you know I'm almost retired and I want to to fly around the world. Okay, remember share share with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, you know. Okay, okay. Have to... talking about sharing. Uh, he is Francisco. No, is he Francisco? Francisco is here. I, I really enjoy what I do and, and maybe it's not my dream job and I'm working and building that, that to, to, to achieve that, that goal, you no, know? but I think that I'm, I'm on my way to. What's your dream job? Being a manager. Already, yeah, big responsibility. Yep, I yeah, but I I think that 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 if I work for that and 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 improve all my skills and keep and still prepare well my my. My skills, I think that I can achieve that. that goal. Well, you know, something funny, we share a dream. I would like also to be a manager. Well, actually I'm studying in order to be able to, to, to be a manager, to apply for a managing position. That yeah, actually, hard. yeah, I actually, I only have my, my how do you say, um, my career, you know, my, my, Degree? My degree, thank you. And I plan to study a, a master, but you know, it's and a what's little bit your expensive. Degree on? A business administration. Oh, yeah. Yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah so well, I... that's what I'm studying now administration. So you could help me with my class. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and okay, we, you ready, guys? Yeah, we've been discussing a little bit, but I we think that Ramon maybe maybe it's not available right now. Okay, so bad, so bad. Well, but here at least he's listening. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I will recall everybody in two minutes, okay? Okay, guys, let's see. Ileana and company, your turn, guys. Hello. You. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello, Leah. <laughs> Hello, Diana. You know, we were discussing about uh, our dream jobs and if we love what we do right now. So, uh, could you tell me, Jose, what would you do if you get your dream job? Okay, so if if I can get my dream job, so I will like have more time to enjoy life. So that's why so I work in having to achieve it. Okay. But yeah, so it will be one of the, the things that I will do. So like have my own time so in order to enjoy. So I don't know what happened. So, but the thing is that, so once we are working in, in order to achieve those kind of dreams, so it's really nice, right? Because you will have your own time, but also you will have more responsibilities, right? Because I, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you told us right that that your dream job is being owner of your uh, it's it's have your own business, right? Yes, that's right. 
And then we have Ada that, that I just, I told her a few minutes ago that I feel jealous of her because he's living her dream because she always dreamed with, to, to be a doctor and a surgeon. So Ada, could you tell us a little I bit love. about how do you feel living your dream job? Uh, I love, they actually, I love and my joy, put my work thing. I try to take care of it. Try to do the best I can. It is very responsible. And the the actually is a is a is a is a kid that tranquil for my job. <laughs> hey, that's nice. And well, in my case, I I was selling to my group that we were we were sharing. We're we are we our ideas. Sorry. So in my case. Uh, my dream job is to be a, a manager, and I really love what I do right now. But I, I'm working to, to someday, uh, I will be able to, to take uh, an opportunity like that. Uh, maybe I hope in the same company. So, uh, that's all, teacher. <laughs> we don't hear you. Perfect, thank you. I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, next group, let's see. Katie, your group. Okay. Um, we, we choose the question, if you have some free time on Saturday, will you study more? And Marquito answer. Oh, okay, uh, my answer was, uh, it depends if I have midterm or final exam near. If were so, I would start to study or was needed. But if the exam was not much important for the subject, I would decide to study between Sunday night and Monday down. Okay, that's it. Uh, yes, um, excellent, excellent. Group number two, Ana Claudia. Okay, Ileana and Maria Alejandra. Hi. <laughs> I don't know Ileana will start or you. Okay. Uh, hi, Anna Claudia. Hi, or hi, Suleima. Suleima, or no? <laughs> Suleima. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, um, hey, Maria, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing very well. Look, I saw a post on Facebook that you had an incident with one or your friend. It seems like uh, you break up with some of your friends. <laughs> yes, I, I take this decision because I think that is not um, a good uh, friend for me because I think that she only search search uh, for me when have a money pro a problems uh, with money. Okay, now I understand. Maybe you lend her money. And Ileana, I don't know if you were also posting <laughs> on her conversation. <laughs> Es Suleima, perdón, es Suleima, yo sí. Uh -huh. Suleima. <laughs> Suleima, do you hear us? I, I Hello. Know. Yes. Sorry, I was in problem with uh -huh. my cell phone. So I just, I just think 
Who is Ileana? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, no. I, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't see her in the room. <laughs> it's Yvonne in my bag. So I I saw that you were also posting in Maria's uh, uh, Facebook that also you had a similar issue with someone. What would you do if you wake up with your friend? Well, uh, that situation is uh, so complicated. Uh, but in my case, I take distance uh, about that kind of people because that kind of people, um, they're, they are not friends, mm. real friends. Exactly. So you can take advantage of that kind of situation and know uh, who really are all the people that are around you. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand very well. Similar situation happens to me. And I think that if that happens to me, I will do the same. I will uh, apart or I will take some distance for this person. It's better to be a peaceful yeah, person. or have an argument uh -huh. with kind of people. Arguing. Exactly. Well, it was nice to see you girls. Hope the situation gets better. See you soon. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Hey, teacher. Sorry, thank you, you guys. It's Wilfredo, your turn. So, Wilfredo, your turn. Yes, we're here, teacher. Okay, it's Irene and Fernando. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, hello, hello, Fernando. Nice to see you. Hello, Hello, how are you? I'm excellent. It's great to see you today. But tell me, what is going in your job? Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Thanks for ask. And you? I'm excellent. I'm working so hard every day. And but you tell me, what will you do when you get excited? What are you thinking about it? Oh, when, when I get retired, if I have enough money, I will travel around the world. Oh, my goodness. It's an excellent idea. I would like to do the same, but I would like to invest my money in some business. For example, uh, invest in piece, pieces of land, uh, houses, something like that and uh, to be my own business and traveling around the world is my it's my dream when i get my retired are my fun hey hello guys long time no Hi. see you hello excellent how are you i'm really fine so today was my day off so now i'm here at supermarket excellent but yeah, um, and you know, we have to buy something uh, because we're going to have a celebration. But yeah. I just have to buy a, a couple of things. Okay. And, and I see in your, in your shopping cart, you, you buy a, a ticket lottery. Uh, yeah, yeah. I bought uh, two lottery tickets. But, well, you know, we believe that we could win once on a on a life yeah i hope you you win and yeah what will you do if you win the lottery oh wow that's a good uh, question maybe i don't know maybe i could save some money and then i could invest another uh, uh another money and maybe i'm gonna take a trip around the world too 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to share with us. Hey, no, come on. You know, guys, I will give I will give you the ticket to fly with me. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. 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 Uh, well, guys, it's too late and I have to go. See well, you. Nice see you. Bye. See you. Bye. Okay, see you. Okay. Very well done, guys. Very well done. Okay, well. Oh, before I forget, tomorrow, uh, be prepared. Tomorrow we are going to, to work with a little very interesting grammar point. Tomorrow we're going to be working with uh, conditional second and third conditional. I have a PowerPoint for you to work with, and it's going to be interesting. So beware, be aware of that fact. But right now, you know, Wilfredo wants to keep on talking to you. So Wilfredo, it's your turn. Okay, perfect teacher. I don't know if I have to share my my document. Uh, you can share it. I can share it. Okay, excellent. Yeah, sure. Excellent, excellent. Just one moment, teacher. No problem. Just let me one moment, okay? Because I will present one, one video on my presentation. Well, at the, at the end. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The uh, video is I from present... YouTube? Yeah. Ooh. We couldn't. Ooh. No. Well, uh, I, could I share the, the link? Yeah, you can share the link here in the Zoom chat or in the WhatsApp. Okay, I will share the link to WhatsApp right now. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Amen. Well, I will use my, my cell phone right now because I don't know why. The computer doesn't allow me in the WhatsApp group. Let me one second. Well, if you want, I can share it at the end. Okay. Perfect. You can share it okay. later. No problem. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Start with my presentation right now. And okay, I guess that is visible now. Yes. Oh. Yes, we can see it. Yes. Yes. Okay, so this was when I was trying to, to share the video. Why? Okay, here it is. Well, guys, first, good evening to everyone. And it's my exposition time. The topic that I just will, uh, I guess that will wake up some challenge to you. And I hope, and I hope so. Uh, my topic is comfort zone. So I guess that some of you listen to this and it's too easy to be there. So the concept uh, for comfort zone is um refer to a psychological state in which we feel safe and 
do not experience anxiety or fear. It is uh, a space that we know completely um, in which we control almost everything. So in, I have uh, some examples here. One of them is that doesn't matter how pressure we have uh, for it, that could be for your job, maybe for uh, uh, your relationship. And also you never, uh, you never um, wants to give up uh, those places or wants to move to, an, to a different place. And this is for some, uh, some occasion. Uh, maybe some circumstances or could be an uh, um, applying, uh, maybe you don't apply for a job because you already know uh, well how your uh, daily tasks doing. Um, and also others like not applying for uh, the job that you want. Um, those are some examples of many uh, many things that you don't uh, don't push to get it. So in in this case, I choose five. One of them is your relationship with food because like you know, maybe uh, like me that I like the food and suddenly someone tell me, hey, you have to be on diet. That's gonna be uh, so strange for, for me. And, and I said that I, might, I have my style life and then I don't wanna change it, but it's because we are in a comfort zone. So another example is not applying for that job that you really want. Uh, is that maybe you don't want to to make uh, effort. Uh, you don't want to make an effort uh, because you have to invest to be to get uh, a new position. So you have to invest a time. You have to invest uh, after a time. You have to put a little bit uh, a a little bit uh, a little bit percentage of your knowledge maybe. And other is not trying, uh, not trying something you are interested in, because maybe it's like I told you uh, before that maybe you you don't want to make any effort to to get the the position that you want, or maybe not speaking up at work. Uh, in this, in sometimes maybe happen uh, daily, so. In this situation, I guess that you have to push uh, to reach your dream. And that is how you going to, to cover to or how to you overcome that that situation. The first thing that you have to do is combine convince yourself that do something going to help you get a better lifestyle. And after that, you're going to start to reach your goals when you wake up that feeling that you want to, to maybe when you set some goals to achieve. And one, one question that would be the first that you have to make is ask yourself how would you like to work better or ask yourself and how I see in the future or where I have to where I want to be in, in the future so I guess that maybe that will help you to go out to your comfort zone and the is one video that 
It's really, it's really good. And it was, um, was shown to me by my trainer when I began to work. And it's uh, really good. So I don't know if you can watch. how you learn about it. And well, that is my talk. And that was my presentation. Thank you all for your time and attention. Okay, mister, thank you. Just one little thing you can ask, how do you see or where do you see yourselves in the future? Okay. Okay. Thank you, very well done. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I guess that you already received the, yeah, the link. It appears there now. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, guys. Now I got a couple of questions for you. The questions. If you could ask an all-knowing being one question about life, what would it be? If electricity weren't invented yet, how would your life be different? In this situation, I will send you to work in the same groups you've been working, but now I want you to share your written sentences, okay? I want you to write two answers per questions, written, okay, as a group. So I need as a group, just four sentences, as a group. And I need you, I need one of you to share them in the WhatsApp group, okay? So you will have five minutes for this activity. Just let me fix a little something here. Okay, groups are open. Please jump in. So what is all knowing being? Ser omnisciente. Oh, omnisciente. Omnisciente. Oh, 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 one question about life, what would it be? <laughs> oh my God, what is life after death? Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was thinking about. Teacher, the, your microphone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Remember, you need to state your answers. If I could ask a question uh, to uh, an all knowing, always in, in I will ask about okay. uh, what's life like after death. Okay, always in first conditional. Okay. Yep. If 
I. No, actually, actually, this is second condition. Second, would. Yes, would. Okay. Look at the question. If you could ask If electricity weren't invented yet, how would your life be different? Two sentences per, per question, right? Yep. If you could ask, what do you think, Jose, Ada, Ramon? Yep, I'm typing. It's a complicated question. <laughs> Uh, teacher, I have only one doubt. Yeah. Uh, those questions, we only have to to uh, answer. Like the answers, yeah. I just need four answers per group. Ah, per group. Yeah, One per answer group. per group. Okay. Excellent. Four answers per group. So two ah, answers, answers for the first. Yeah. Two for the first question. Two for the second uh -huh. question. Ah, okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. For me, it will be very different because I guess. I will stay more at home since, uh, since the darkness come up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and the way you cook uh -huh. the food. Just imagine when you go bed in your room. Wow. Yeah. Is that the reason the people have a lot of kids? <laughs> in, the, in the house because you can use tools, electric tools. Mm, wow, we weren't been, been able to to attend these classes <laughs> mm -hmm. or get education. It would be in that case. Yeah, and maybe the. <laughs> The planet was better because the pollution. Yeah. I but think can you was... imagine what type of jobs we would be doing without electricity? Uh, Cleaning houses, maybe. <laughs> maybe we are making um, adobe <laughs> to, to build houses. Uh -huh. Or being just, uh, how do you say, a de casa. Teacher, how do you how do you say a de casa in English? Housewife. 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 Oh my God. Being a good white housewife. <laughs> Maybe those. Remember, you gotta give me written the sentences. Oh, come on. And the sentences? Are, are Using there... wool. Wool. Ah. Okay. It's one for each uh, question, right? No, two. <gasps> yeah. Okay. This is good. Yes, look at the questions. Mm 
Okay. Can we say one question would be tarara, tarara, and the second one? Or you can say, I would ask. Mm, okay. Okay. And the second uh, question, it would be, okay, I like that, that style. I will ask. I will ask. And we can use um, the, the question that Suleyma gave, how to get, how you get patient? How, how do you do to be patient? ¿Cómo sería ahí? Hello guys, you got my sentences ready? Hello teacher. Almost. 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 Mm. That's great. That's great. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, guys, well, 
Don't forget to send me the sentences. I need to check them out. Okay, guys, please do not forget to, to, to send me the sentences because I need to check them out. If it's possible right now, do it because I would like to check them tonight. So I don't have that job uh, delayed. For tomorrow, we got, uh, as I told you, we are going to be working with the manual. We are going to have the explanation of the conditional uh, conversation also. Wow, we have a lot for tomorrow try to be as early as possible so we can advance faster. Tomorrow, the part of the conversation we have at the beginning is going to be shorter because we have a lot of material to cover. So I'll be waiting for you. Let me just get the final attendance so you can get free of me and you can go race as I'm sure all of you want and need. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Salas Comedias. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani José García Martínez. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Adames. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Thank you, Roxana. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, Fernando, perhaps you can say just for a minute at the end. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. Take care. Okay. Yes. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Take care. Hello, mister. One second, okay. Hello, I, I imagine. <laughs> yes, teacher. No, I, I, I'm doing homework with my son. Oh, that's difficult. I arrived really late to home and I had to attend that. And Okay. What I got is a tool, a tool that is going to help you, okay? Perfect English grammar explanation. Okay, give me a if, second. If you can open it, you will see a lot of info. There's a bunch of info, but I I don't want you to. If you open it, I don't want you to go to the to the basics. I need you to scroll down a little bit and go to more verb explanations. Okay. okay. If you go down, you will see more verb explanations, okay? More verb explanation, all right? Okay, you can you can check out anyone you want there. I mean, if you go even down there, you can check phrasal verbs, uh, adjectives, reported speech, the passive voice, models, prepositions. And this is going to help you a lot because besides the grammar explanation, you get exercises 
okay. that you can do and that the, the system is going to check for you. So save that link is going to help you a lot and it's going to allow you to improve with grammar because you are at the level that uh, grammar is going to open the language more for you. You got enough vocabulary, you understand enough English. So at this moment, grammar is the tool you need in order to open it more because it's going to help you not to express more, to express in a better way. Oh, okay. Being more specific. Check it out and remember my advice always. No more than 10 minutes. I mean, you have long days. Yeah. <laughs> yes, teacher. My... And that's that's something you can check on your cell phone. You can check the info and some of those exercises are just like check-in or fill-in, but little things. Okay, teacher. I, I keep it in mind and I will try to review one day, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, one, one style a day. Yeah, do it, do it. It's going to help you a lot. Thank you very much for staying. Uh, thanks to you, Tika, for your, for your support. Really, I appreciate no, no, no. because, uh, you know, my schedule is... Yeah, is it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but... But it's nice uh, that we'll you're try. doing the effort. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, man. Take care, yeah. have a good night. Thank you, same to you. Bye.
Well, time's up. See you.